Hi there, this is Wes Moss. Welcome to Wes Moss Money Matters. Today, five reasons why you should retire as soon as you can. Really, if you answer yes to any of these questions, it may be time to walk away and live the retired life. And here's why we're talking about this. Number one, really, some people in, in America, you've heard this mantra, some people live to, some people work to live and other people live to work. And I think that's maybe a little oversimplification. I think in real life, I go, always go back to a Gallup study that I, I read many years ago and it continues to get updated, but the same data really kind of continues to be true in America and that here's the data. 20% of Americans are fully engaged in their work. It means they love their work and they have a sense of purpose together. 20%, so one in five. What about the other four in five? 60% of folks, call it three in five, are kind of take it or leave it when it comes to their work. So they don't hate it, but they don't love it. Then there's another 20% and the other one in five that they, they hate their work so much that they're literally trying to bring their company down. They're trying to bring their employer down. And really, the way I look at this, if you're in any, uh, any camp beyond that first camp, if you don't love it, then you want to be thinking about ways to, to be able to stop working, retire early. And I've done a whole separate video about this called How to Retire, How to Retire Early that you can find right here on this channel. But today, really kind of these five reasons why. So if you answer yes to any of these five questions, really consider uh, stopping work. And number five, we'll talk about the financial piece of this as well. So number one, if you live, we're in a city of the city of Atlanta. A lot of big metropolitan areas are like this. Chicago's like this. L.A., New York, Philadelphia, uh, even Charlotte, Dallas. You name it. There are a lot of big cities that have awful, awful commute times. Atlanta con consistently ranks in the top three worst commutes in the world. And I hear about this all the time. But wherever you are, if you're in a really heavy metro area that's crowded, you could be in the same scenario. So the first question is this, is your commute longer than 45 minutes? Is it, and that's each way, so an hour and a half in the car. This stat is not shocking, but shocking really just the, the weight of it. And that if you are commuting more than 45 minutes each way, you're 40% more likely to get divorced, 40% more likely. To get divorced, and it makes sense. I mean, think about all the time you're taking away from your family and your loved ones, which is really what matters. If you answer yes to that question, maybe time to start thinking about how you can retire or stop working. Number two, is work unhealthy for you? Meaning that you may have an irregular schedule. Uh, so the, the, if the answer yes to this question, again, think about stopping work or figuring out a way to be able to stop work. Think about night shifts. My, my wife for a decade, had a, as a nurse and worked night shifts. Night shifts are a nightmare. You, you have a regular sleep, you can't get into sleep patterns. There's also a study of 28,000 individuals that worked on call shifts. So they may be off work, but they're on the edge because they might have to go in. There are dramatically lower levels of happiness or higher levels of unhappiness that go along with those irregular schedules or constantly being on call. If you find yourself in that situation, start thinking about, is it time to stop or get out? Number three, do you dislike your job or you just hate your job? If the answer is yes, and you don't have a sense of purpose and you dislike it and you're looking at the clock and you just can't wait to get out of there every single day, then you're, you're starting to hurt yourself mentally and, and likely physically. And it, when it becomes unhealthy and you are, are lost with that sense of purpose and you find yourself in that Gallup poll and the one in five that hate your company so much, you, you'd like to see them be brought down, it's time to go. Number four, are you unappreciated at work? If the answer is yes to that, it's time to go. You can't go through your working days with peers and superiors or bosses or anybody or customers for that matter that don't appreciate what you do. If you haven't heard an appreciation or a thank you in the last six months, it's not an environment you wanna be in. It's time to get out. Number five, have you topped out financially? Meaning that there's no more upside on your employment, they continue to cut your comp plan, maybe your sales goals keep going up so you don't make more money. That gets so frustrating that it starts to make work completely unfun. So number five here is really leads into the financial part of this. And I'll give a preview for our video on how to retire early, all about the five steps of the happiest retirees in the book I wrote, the research I did on my book, You Can Retire, 
sooner than you think, uh, five money secrets of the happiest retirees, but three of the core pieces of that are as follows. Number one, happy retirees have at least $500,000 saved in retirement assets or money that is liquid that can now generate income because that's going to be a piece of the equation and you've got that liquidity and safety net to get you through 20, 30, even 40 years of retirement. Now there's more to that story, but that's the baseline amount that I find happy retirees have to at least get to. It's the median number of net worth for happy retirees. Number two, you either have no mortgage in retirement or mortgage payoff is within sight. Retirees are four times more likely to be happy if their mortgage is within five years of payoff. Think about that, getting rid of that burden, that major burden, that major payment you pay every month to a big bank somewhere. You get used to it because most Americans pay mortgages for decades you almost forget how unbelievably great it is to not have that payment anymore. I can tell you that one of the number one psychological lifts I see when it comes to financial planning or any sort of investment management, it's when a family gets rid of the mortgage. It is a wonderful feeling to no longer have that mortgage payment. Number three, multiple streams of income. The first area, $500,000, creates a stream of income using a couple of different rules. I'm particularly fond of the 4% plus inflation rule, but multiple streams of income mean that your investment assets are paying you a certain amount. You may have rental income, you may, and you should have social security income, you and potentially your spouse as well. Maybe you have pension income, veteran benefits, any sort of other income that's coming in monthly. The more and different streams of income, the happier and more peace of mind you have in retirement. Hopefully that's helpful. If you've answered yes to any of those five questions, it's time to really start thinking about when you can retire. Also remember to check out the video on how to retire early right here on the same YouTube channel. Have a profitable and happy rest of your day. I hope you found this video helpful. There are lots of other videos on this page that'll help you be a happy retiree. Just hit subscribe right below this video. You can find us or follow us at West Moss Money Matters on Facebook or Instagram, West Moss Money Matters, and Twitter at West Moss 365. Thank you so much.